Hey, welcome to this video on Microbit. Uh, we're just using the Bluetooth again, just getting a good understanding of how to send and receive signals. In this one, we are going to be making a dice game where we interact with each other. So the first thing we're going to need to do is create a variable called dice. It's going to make it easier for us. Now, you can set this to however you want to be the input. I'm going to be using on shake. Uh, you could set it to button A or button B pressed. Up to you. So on shake, I need to set my dice, and I need to have it choose, oop, found under math, a random number. And let's pick that random number between 1 to 6. Then let's go ahead and do sh uh, show string. And then let's grab the variable dice. And then let's also have it send out the information. So we can do radio send number, and let's go variable dice. So all we're telling it to do is when we shake, it's going to send, show us the number, and then it's sending out the number. And you can tell it's sending it out on the simulator here because that little portion lights up. Now we need to create the option to receive the number. So we'll go on radio received number, we're going to use our logic of if true then, so if true then, grab our logic, zero less than zero. Uh, and you can play around with this number uh, to have fun with it. But the basic premise is if our received number is going to be, uh, again, whatever you choose here, if you want to make it less than, less than, equal to, greater than, greater than, equal to, or equals or not equals. Maybe your goal is to get your micro bits to sync up to the exact same number. Um, again, you can have fun with that. I'm going to set mine is uh, less than or equal to the radio send number of dice. So if it's less than whatever number is chosen up here, then it's going to make a meh face that looks like this. And we can test it out here by clicking the shake, sends it out, and we can see this was a one, so then it got a meh face. So if I go here, six, There we go. Uh, play around with this. Uh, really easy to do. You can do some cool things sending different numbers and commands and having your micro bits interact. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in class or leave a comment on this video. Thanks for watching.